So what is NVIDIA's DLSS and how do you use it? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. If you've purchased an NVIDIA 2000 series or 3000 series GPU, you're probably already aware of the big new feature of these product lines, ray tracing. What you may not know is that under the umbrella of NVIDIA's ray tracing features is another even more game-changing feature, Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS. While it sounds like a mouthful, what it does is remarkably simple and totally awesome for gamers. In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about DLSS, how the technology has evolved, and how to start using DLSS today. What is DLSS and how does it work? In short, DLSS lets you run games at higher resolutions and higher frame rates for free. In version 1.0 of DLSS, it took stills of frames of games running at low resolutions and with a lot of aliasing, then used these images to generate high quality, higher resolution versions of these images. Finally, it fed the stills and their high quality counterparts into a supercomputing cluster that trained itself to recognize aliased and low resolution frames and generate high quality, high resolution frames in response. Though each individual game required training first on NVIDIA's end, once NVIDIA's AI could successfully recognize low quality frames and use those to generate high quality copies, by turning DLSS on, gamers had more control over their experience. If you want to run a game at higher graphical settings or resolutions but are unsatisfied with the performance, DLSS lets you render your game at a lower resolution, getting the performance benefit of doing so, but this can output a much higher quality image. Now version 2.0 of DLSS refined the technique's application. The higher quality images generated are even more detailed than before, and on the back end, NVIDIA has moved to a game agnostic system, so every individual game doesn't need to be tested and trained before DLSS can be implemented. With DLSS 2.0 came some customization of the feature itself. Instead of choosing between on and off, you can pick between quality, balanced and performance modes, which offer upscaling from a variety of resolutions. If this sounds a little bit like black magic to you, that's normal, but it's important to remember that DLSS is not a piece of software. It's not something that can be downloaded or patched into your game. The tensor cores on Nvidia's last two GPU lines that enable ray tracing features are the same cores that power DLSS, which is why DLSS is considered an RTX feature, even if it itself is not actually ray tracing. Luckily, DLSS can be found with all your other graphical settings in-game. This means there isn't an NVIDIA setting you have to toggle, or a Windows setting you have to mess with. Assuming you have an RTX NVIDIA GPU installed on your drivers, alongside the GeForce Experience application, and your copy of Windows are up to date, the only thing you have to do is find the DLSS switch in-game. It's important to remember to set your game to whatever resolution you're looking to use for output. If you're planning on using DLSS to upscale to 4K, your resolution should be set to 4K. By turning DLSS on, under the hood, the game will run at a lower internal resolution and then be upscaled to your desired resolution. DLSS is best used at higher resolutions like 1440p, and 4K, which are particularly expensive, especially when you want to run at 60 frames per second. Lastly, if you're already running a game at a high frame rate, at a high resolution, or if your computer is bottlenecked by a different component, like your CPU, the benefits of DLSS will be far less pronounced. It's also important to keep in mind that performance gains will always depend on the card's load as well as the rest of your hardware. So if you're interested in new modern features like DLSS, HDR or ray tracing, or do you think they're less game changing than everyone wants to believe? Well, let us know in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, 
turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.